Hey, what is going on guys? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video we're going to have a look at the newest version of Dolphin Emulator which has Vulkan API support and this is supposed to be better than OpenGL API. So what I'm going to do now is toggle off the screen controls as I will be using a Bluetooth control pad so we have a better view of the screen. So this will be a playthrough for a few minutes just to see how each of the video drivers perform. The frames did take a dive on that roll here. Now when the cutscene starts here, the frames are dropping quite a bit. Now it's dropped to about under 20 frames per second. Now in this area the frames have dropped quite a bit, so we're under 20 frames per second. Now fighting the enemy, again the frames have taken a dive here, obviously because of all the action that's taking place. So this time we have two more enemies here and again just like before the frames have taken a dive and at one point you will see that the frames have dropped to just under 15 frames per second. And once we're back to the cutscene again, the frames are just under 20 frames per second. Okay, so now to play with the Vulkan API and we're going to see how the performance is between that and the OpenGL and I'll load up my save state file so we can get straight into the gameplay. Ah! 
you can notice some lag and there is some distortion in the audio because of the frames dropping here. Now in this area there have been no frames dropping where it did on the OpenGL. So this is the first cutscene in this area and the frames have been dropping quite a bit and it looks like it is dropping lower than the OpenGL driver. And in this area it is lagging and once again I think it is more slower than the OpenGL driver here. Yes definitely more slower here. And in this one-to-one -one battle, it gets really laggy on Vulcan API. So now we have these two bad guys and you can see it is really laggy and I'm quite surprised. I thought Vulcan would be much better than OpenGL here. Perhaps it is a bug in the video drivers so hopefully the Dolphin EMU devs try and find a fix for this. So now we have Super Mario Sunshine on OpenGL. So right now it is running between 20 and 25 frames per second. And the frames have gone up quite a bit here so we're reaching about 30 frames per second.
So now I will be switching to Vulkan API and once again load up my save file. Now if you thought Zelda Wind Waker was bad, well guess again, it is really bad on Super Mario Sunshine. You can see the frames are flickering between 11 and 17 and it is somewhat unplayable. And most of this area is going to be between 11 and 17 frames per second. Some areas where there aren't a lot of enemies or action going on you might see about 19 frames per second or so. So in this part of the stage the frames are slightly higher, about 20 frames per second, whereas on OpenGL it was 25-26 frames per second. So Vulkan API it is performing bad on Super Mario Sunshine and Zelda Wind Waker. Okay, so the last game is F-Zero GX and it does look really laggy and you're probably thinking why is that because it is running between 18 and 20 frames per second. Well, this is one of those games that run at 60 frames per second. So yes, running at about 20 frames per second is not really going to cut it for this game. But I'll just do a quick playthrough just to see how it runs. You will see at some point the game running at 25 frames per second.
and now we're gonna run this game with Vulkan API and I'll just load up my save file and come on you're probably thinking Vulkan API is gonna be worse than OpenGL based on the other two games I mean how bad can it be well you'd be surprised because this game actually runs better in Vulkan API so you will see in the beginning it is running about 20 frames per second it will pick up to about 30 frames per second and other areas it will be 45 frames per second and when there are few cars around the game will go up to about 55 frames per second so it is quite interesting that in this game Vulkan API does perform better than OpenGL and this is how it should be. Okay so that pretty much does it for this video and what did you think of this style? Well I didn't record my actual phone here, I do have the Mi 8 but to show a better quality I did record the screen. Now if you want to see future videos in this format do let me know in the comment section. I will put out a future video with Wii games so we can see how Vulcan performs with that. So anyway guys if you have enjoyed this video then you know what to do, give it a like. If you are new here then please subscribe to see more videos. Please do follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.